Howdy, y'all. Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas, with episode six of Predicting Reactions. You're going to practice predicting the products, writing chemical equations, writing net ionic equations, and using your solubility rules. You're going to need a periodic table. You'll need a polyatomic ion chart, your solubility rules. I'm going to make a few assumptions. I'm going to assume that you know how to do nomenclature, that you recognize types of reactions, that you know how to write net ionic equations, and that you understand the solubility rules. Now, if you don't understand any of this information, you need to go and get my videos on YouTube. Your assumptions will be that in all cases, a reaction occurs. Solutions are aqueous unless otherwise stated. You need to represent substances in solution as ions, and you need to omit ions that are unchanged by the reaction. Let's look at the how-tos of writing chemical equations. One, determine the reactants in the products. Write formulas for everything. Then put the reactants on the left, draw an arrow, and put the products on the right, and then balance. Now remember, you must omit ions or molecules that are unchanged by the reaction. Basically, write a net ionic equation. Are you ready? Let's do it. Predict the products. Sulfur trioxide gas is added to excess water. All right, let's first write our reactants. Sulfur trioxide gas, SO3, and we add that to water, and I would hope you would know that water is H2O and a liquid. And SO3 is a non-metallic oxide, and water mixed with a non-metallic oxide will give us an acid. So SO3 and H2O would be sulfuric acid, H2SO4. That's a synthesis reaction, and it's automatically balanced. Oh, I love it when that happens. All right, we also know there's no net ionic equation. This is all uh, covalent. And so let's recap. You wrote formulas. You reviewed the rules for writing equations. You practiced writing chemical equations. You predicted the products. And if you have a question, send it to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And happy ions, y'all.